Hey folks, Lee here, Daily H today, um, just hanging out with the family. Just want to talk about reframing things and, and reframing kind of in difficult situations that you might have in your life and how people can let them stop them, let them, you know, bring them down, let them stop chasing their dreams, that kind of stuff. Getting back a little while now, a couple months or so, um, I, was, I was kind of making some stuff happen within my business to raise some funds to make some things happen. Um, and there's an event happened to me, right, which would stop most people, right? I was on a mission to, to kind of to go all in, which if you're in the business, you'll understand. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, and something happened, right? Through a complete oversight, um, my insurance had lapsed on, lapsed on my car, and I was oblivious to it, right? I was driving down the road, got pulled over by the cops, right? Car, the car ended up, the car got getting seized, right? Um, and I, was, I had to get home by the bus from the son, not, not, this, not this little guy here, my older son. Um, hey, mate, how you doing? I'm coming, I'm coming, you're on video, say hello. No, he's too shy, I don't want to say hello. But did I let it stop me? Did I let it stop me from taking massive action and going all in at the time? No, I didn't. I didn't. I just did whatever it took anyway. I had three days, three days to make it happen. I gave myself three days to raise the funds. And because I moved these funds around, something happened and that, and that insurance lapsed, right? And it was shown invalid on the system. You know, Big Brother's watching you in this country. There's, there's cameras and stuff everywhere. So the cops in the car behind me were driving along. And next thing they, they, I pulled, the, I pulled over. They didn't pull me over. I pulled over, and they pulled in behind me and said, "Excuse me, sir. Do you know that you, you, your car's showing? Because they've got cameras inside the car, right? And they like to film everybody. You know, Big Brother's watching you. Um, Excuse me, sir. Do you know you've got insurance in your car? I was like, really? I'm not that aware of. No. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I, I do. Why? He said, "Why can't you just fix on your car?" Get on the cause, as you said. But that event led to something else and something else, which basically ended, which kind of led me towards going all in. Because I just got so pumped and so up for it that I was like, you know what, no, this is not going to stop me. I refuse to let this stop me. I'm going to get myself home, I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to go see this person, this person, this person. It fueled me. I used it as fuel for the fire, I didn't let it stop me. Most people would have said, oh, you know what, forget it, can't be bothered, it's not happening, give up. I've locked, you know, the car's in, in the pound right now, I can't even get anywhere. I got on the bus, I walked. I walked for about three miles to get somewhere to get another bus and another bus. I just made it happen. Absolutely. I haven't talked about this before. When I, when I shot the video a while ago, a few weeks ago, about going all in, I didn't talk about this. This could have stopped me. This, this would have stopped most people, but it did not stop me. So I just want to put this out there to you today to do not let obstacles get in your way. That's all they are. They're an obstacle. You either go over it, round it, like that way or that way, or under it or whatever. But you do whatever it takes to chase your dreams, folks. You do whatever it takes, no matter what happens. I lost my car, walked for miles, bus for miles, all that good stuff. Car's back on the road right now. It's over there behind me. The kids are in. The family's in it right now. Um, but I came here today. And I had to go to court, right, on the back of that. On the back of that. Um that, that whole thing. Yeah, I got some points on my license, and you know, got a fine, whatever, big deal. Um, but I turned that, even that today, I refused to, I wasn't going to let that get, get me down. I mean, to come and, you know, come down to this court down here, you know, 30 miles, 40 miles away, away from where we live. So we came down with the family and we made a family event and we came out here to this place nearby, kind of chase, it's in the outdoors, made the most of it, turned what could have been a negative day into a positive day, into a family day, a fun day. You know, it's all about how you frame everything, folks, flipping it around, you don't let things get in your way, you don't let things stop you, and use those hurdles, those obstacles as springboards to push you forward, push you on. Sign off, see you tomorrow, Lee's Daily Edge like the video, um, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, see you next time folks, have a great day, take care.